Hi, I'm Danielle from the RCD, and today we are going to talk about oak trees and wildfire. Oaks are magnificent trees that are not only beautiful, but have the power to protect us from wildfires. When properly cared for, oaks can be a key part of your defensible space. Oak trees are native to the Pacific Southwest. They are well adapted to this drought-prone coastal desert. Oak trees are equipped with adaptations such as tough, leathery leaves and thick, furrowed bark that keep them from igniting during a wildfire. And this tree right here is a perfect example. You can see that a wildfire passed through and the thick bark kept the inner, softer parts of this tree protected and kept the whole tree from igniting. Your oak trees, uh, they actually are very hardy when it comes to wildfire. They usually need something else nearby underneath to ignite. So as long as you're keeping your ground fuels away, they will actually help uh, at times slow a fire down. In Southern California, the two most common species of oak found in the wildland urban interface are the valley oak and coast live oak. Here we have a coast live oak. Coast live oaks or Quercus agrifolia can be identified through their dark green leathery leaves, which have spikes along the edge and have a little bit of a roundness to them. The canopy of a coast live oak is dome shaped. The branches are gnarled and twisted. They will even shoot down large branches towards the ground, giving the tree stability. The other species is the valley oak, Quercus lobata. It can be identified by larger lobed leaves that are bright green and deciduous, meaning they change color and drop in the fall. Their canopies also tend to be higher and more spread out. Speaking of canopies, in some cases, oak trees can act as an ember catch. Small embers are caught within the dense foliage of the tree and extinguished. This can act as a protective barrier between flying embers and a structure. This is extremely important during high wind conditions such as Santa Ana's, where embers can fly for miles beyond a burning front. Like any tree species on your property, how oak trees are cared for will impact their ignition resistance. As you can see here, there are no tall grasses or shrubs growing beneath the canopy of these oak trees. Tall grasses and shrubs can act as ladder fuels. A ladder fuel is any vegetation which allows fire to climb from the ground to the canopy above. Ladder fuels increase the height of the flames significantly, leading the flames up into the canopy and causing the entire tree to ignite. Therefore, ladder fuels are the greatest ignition threat to oak trees. Oaks that have been cleared of ladder fuels will rarely ignite fully. Clearing away heavy leaf litter from the base of the tree also decreases ignition risk. When we take care of oak trees, they take care of us and many native species in return. Trim back any branches that overhang buildings or chimneys. Lastly, watch for signs of disease and call an arborist when needed. Before trimming an oak tree branch that is larger than two inches in diameter, make sure to get a permit. A healthy tree is less likely to ignite than a sick one. Some common signs of illness and stress include patches of the bark that are falling away and a majority of the foliage being brown or yellow. Also look out for thinning of the canopy, white stringy sapwood, or large concentrations of sap, excessive amounts of fungus, wood rot on the limbs or trunk, and numerous insect holes. If you suspect your tree is ill or in distress, it is always a firewise choice to call an arborist to come assess the tree. If you see an oak sapling, you can help protect the next generation of oaks. Oak saplings should be caged to prevent them from being eaten by herbivores. Oak saplings also require watering more regularly than mature oaks. Ideally, five gallons each week in the dry months and five gallons every two weeks in the cooler months. Oak trees provide shade, clean air, and vital support to an extraordinary 5,318 different species, more than any other North American tree. Oak trees are a keystone species of their native environment. For more information on oak trees and how to care for them, please explore the links attached to this video. Thanks for watching.